All right, everybody. Hail and welcome back to another episode of Midgard Musings. My name's Jesse and I'm the host here on this channel. And this is the continuation of the Words of Wisdom mini series here on the channel. I know I haven't done a whole lot of regular other content, been a little bit busy here lately with my normal life. Um, but this is the continuation in our Words of Wisdom uh, series here on this channel, wherein I you know, pick a random stanza from the Hovamal. Uh, give you a little bit of my insight, talk a little bit about it, just kind of give you a little bit of insight as to what I'm thinking of when I read these stanzas. So, hail and welcome. If you haven't yet, please write down here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you don't want to miss anything, ding the bell for notifications, and you will be notified every time that I upload new content. All right, folks, so today's uh, stanza is, as always, selected from the Dr. Jackson Crawford translation of the Havamal in the Wanderer's Havamal. I have a few translations myself. Whichever translation you want to read from, please go ahead and do so if you want to follow along. Uh, but today's random stanza selection is stanza 65. And it's a short one. It's a short one. It's short, sweet, and straight to the point. So here we go. Stanza 65 says, you will often get repayment in kind for the words you speak to others. Now, I think it goes without saying, right that that stanza right there is even you know you, you could use it in any context right what you say to somebody is what you can expect back what you put out is what you can expect back um there's a little bit of understanding of this you know concept of uh reciprocity you know so um it's very simple i don't want to overanalyze or overindulge or, or go too much into something that is very simple and very plain and very uh, noteworthy in its own light, right? I don't want to get too complicated with things. Um, but I always like to just offer a little bit of my own thoughts and things, right? We're in modern times. Um, in modern times, we have a lot of folks, myself included, right, that use various social media platforms, right? We got YouTube here, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, whatever the other things on that you may be using. And these platforms are used um, to voice our own opinions to say certain things and then when people like to respond back and say certain things it's kind of like well you know people get kind of bent out of shape about it right they get a little you know their feelings get hurt or whatever it's like hey look you can't expect to put out something and say something and then not uh you know you you can't do that and then not expect some sort of response in return at least you shouldn't in my opinion Right, so these types of videos, these type, this this type of content is intended to um, educate and, and intended to spark some sort of conversation and to you know get that mind fire, you know put put some put some uh, you know stoke the coals as it were. Um, so I hope that these sorts of videos do that very thing, and I want people to you know be inspired to to think and and come up with their own ideas on things. So, and, and, and when you do that, I hope that you're also willing to accept the return that you put out. Um, so just expect it, right? If you're gonna get out here and you're gonna put your voice out and you're gonna say certain things that are maybe controversial or um, just by their nature, right? Intended to spark a reaction, don't be surprised. Don't be alarmed. And don't get upset when the reaction that those sorts of comments elicits brings in that audience and does what it is in, at its core intended to do. So think about it, right? Maybe put a little bit of thought into what you say before you actually say it. Um, so that's my insight on this. Now I know this video is gonna be a little bit short, but the stanza is a little bit short. It's very simple, it's very basic. So I wanna hear what you have to say down in the comments section below. Also, don't forget that later this month, as of the timing of the recording of this video, August uh, 30th, I believe it is, I am going to be um, talking to and having the distinct honor of interviewing uh, Varg and Sol from the uh, Norwegian folk band uh, Veluspa. Um, so you guys be sure to head down into the description, check out Veluspa on Facebook and on YouTube. Um, follow them, like their page, follow their accounts, subscribe to their channel, all that kind of fun stuff. And be sure to tune in here on Midgard Musings um, August 30th because I am super excited about that particular video and I hope you are as well. So as always, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff, be sure to subscribe, ding the bell notifications, share this video around, comment. The more interactions we get going on here, 
the more we're able to grow. I appreciate all of you and I want to thank you all for supporting Midgard Musings throughout um, the last couple of years that we've been putting stuff out here. It's been awesome and I've enjoyed the journey thus far and I can't wait to see what more we can do together. So stay tuned for the next video. Not sure when that's going to be coming out as far as the hovel mall discussion. I like to try to do these things three times a week but as you can tell uh, this past week has been just a little bit too hectic for me and haven't been able to get it out there in the same cadence as I wanted to. So I've got a really cool video that I want to shoot um, before the next big one with Varg and Sol. Um, so be, uh, you know, kind of keep your eyes open for that. Um, but in the meantime, thank you all so much for your support. Hail, and I'll see you all in the next video.